Did you know that Walt Disney, the man who brought magic to the world, was once fired for lack of creativity? Welcome to the captivating journey of Walt Disney, a man who turned dreams into reality. Born in the late 19th century, Walt Disney's name would eventually become synonymous with enchantment. But this future icon of imagination didn't have an easy start, far from it. The road was marked with failures and financial struggles. The irony? One of his early jobs ended with him being fired for lack of creativity. Yes, you heard that right. The man who would later bring us talking mice, singing princesses and enchanted castles was once deemed uncreative. But Walt Disney was not one to be easily discouraged. He believed in the power of dreams and the magic of persistence. So how did this man, once dismissed for a lack of creativity, become a symbol of imagination for generations? Let's dive into his story. Born on December 5, 1901 in Hermosa, Illinois, Walt Disney's story begins in a simple, humble setting. His early years were spent in the heartland of America, amidst the rural charm and hardy spirit of the Midwest. The fourth of five children, Disney grew up in a family rooted in perseverance and ingenuity, traits that Walt would carry with him throughout his life. His father, Elias Disney, was a stern but hard-working man who instilled in his children the value of diligence. His mother, Flora Disney, was a nurturing woman whose imaginative stories sparked a young Walt's creativity. From an early age, Walt showed a fondness for drawing. He would often sketch animals from the farm and create his own little world on paper. This fascination with art was not just a pastime, it was an escape into a realm of imagination, a realm that Walt would later bring to life for millions of people worldwide. However, Walt's journey was not without its obstacles. At the tender age of 16, he dropped out of high school, not to shirk his responsibilities, but to serve his country. Walt wanted to join the army, but he was too young. Undeterred, he joined the Red Cross and was sent to France, where he spent a year driving an ambulance and dreaming of a future in the arts. Upon his return, Walt focused on his passion for drawing and storytelling. He began experimenting with a camera, combining his love for art with the magic of motion pictures. This was the start of a path that would lead him to create an empire of dreams and magic, one that would captivate the hearts of children and adults alike. These early experiences would shape the man Walt Disney was to become, setting the stage for a journey of imagination and innovation. From a humble beginning in the Midwest to the bright lights of Hollywood, Walt Disney's life story is a testament to the power of dreams and the magic that lies within each one of us. Disney's first taste of the animation world was a bittersweet experience. Walt Disney, a man of boundless imagination, first dipped his toes into the animation pool with the Laugh-O-Gram Studio. This venture was situated in Kansas City, where Disney sought to capture the hearts of the public with his unique brand of storytelling. The studio's initial success was a testament to Disney's creative genius. Laugh-O-Gram Studio started off strong, producing a series of animated shorts that were well-received by audiences. These shorts were a blend of live action and animation, a novelty at the time. Through these innovative creations, Disney began to carve out a niche for himself in the world of animation. However, the tide soon turned. Despite the initial enthusiasm, the studio found itself struggling financially. High production costs, coupled with insufficient revenue, led to an unfortunate bankruptcy. This marked Disney's first major setback in his animation career. But as we know, it was far from his last. Yet it was from the ashes of this failure that Disney's determination shone the brightest. He packed his bags and moved to Hollywood, with his dreams intact. There, he started anew, setting up the Disney Brothers studio with his brother Roy. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in Disney's life, one that would forever change the face of animation. The Disney Brothers studio was where Walt Disney refined his craft and started to build the magical empire we know today. It was here that he took his first steps towards creating characters that would become beloved icons worldwide. In retrospect, the failure of Laugh-O-Gram studio was a stepping stone, not a stumbling block. It was a crucial part of Disney's journey, shaping his approach to animation and his resilience in the face of adversity. Despite the initial failures, Disney remained undeterred, paving the way for a new era in animation. 1928 marked a turning point in Walt Disney's life and the world of animation. This was the year that saw the birth of an iconic character who would change the face of animated entertainment forever, Mickey Mouse. Walt Disney, already a seasoned animator by this time, was facing a crisis. His first successful creation, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, 
had been taken away from him due to contractual disagreements. Undeterred, Disney decided to take a leap of faith, and out of this adversity, an idea sparked in his mind. With the help of his trusted friend and animator Ub Iwerks, Disney created a new character, a cheerful, optimistic mouse with red shorts and large round ears. They named him Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse made his debut in the short film Steamboat Willie, and it wasn't just any film. It was one of the first cartoons to feature synchronized sound, a revolutionary concept at the time. The audience watched in astonishment as Mickey Mouse whistled, laughed, and made noises that perfectly matched his actions. The film was a sensation, and Mickey Mouse quickly captured the hearts of millions. But Steamboat Willie did more than just introduce a beloved character. It revolutionized the animation industry. Before Mickey Mouse, cartoons were seen as mere novelties, simple diversions with little depth or character development. But Disney's creation proved that animation could be more than just moving drawings. It could tell stories, evoke emotions, and create characters that audiences could connect with. Mickey Mouse's success led to more innovations in animation. Disney introduced Technicolor, multi-plane cameras, and even the first full-length animated feature film. Each of these advancements pushed the boundaries of what was possible in animation, and they all started with a little mouse in red shorts. With Mickey Mouse, Disney not only created a character but a legacy that would endure for generations. Mickey Mouse wasn't just a character, he was a symbol of optimism, resilience, and the power of imagination. He was the foundation of an empire that would grow to include theme parks, television shows, and countless other characters. But most importantly, he was a testament to Walt Disney's belief that, in his own words, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. With Mickey Mouse's success, Disney began to dream bigger, leading to the creation of an empire. Walt Disney, the man who dared to dream big, was never satisfied with the status quo. He was driven by an insatiable desire to innovate, to push boundaries, and to make the impossible possible. His infectious ambition and relentless drive led to the expansion of the Disney brand, transforming it from a simple animation studio into a worldwide entertainment juggernaut. Disney's vision went beyond the confines of the silver screen. He yearned to create a place where the wonders of his animated world could leap off the screen and into reality. Thus, Disneyland, the happiest place on Earth, was born. Debuting in 1955, it was an unprecedented venture, a tangible manifestation of Disney's boundless imagination and audacious spirit. And Disneyland was just the beginning. Disney's empire continued to grow, branching out into television with shows like The Mickey Mouse Club and The Wonderful World of Disney. It expanded into publishing with the creation of the Disney comic books and even into music with the formation of the Disneyland records. Throughout his career, Walt Disney's extraordinary achievements didn't go unnoticed. He received numerous awards and honors, including an incredible 22 Academy Awards out of 59 nominations, a record that still stands to this day. In 1960, he was honored with two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for film and another for television, cementing his status as a titan of the entertainment industry. Yet for Disney, it was never about the accolades. It was about bringing joy to people, about making them believe in the magic of dreams, and about inspiring them to reach for the stars. Disney's boundless imagination transformed the entertainment industry, leaving an indelible mark on the world. He built an empire not just of brick and mortar, but of dreams and wonder, an empire that continues to enchant and inspire long after his time. Walt Disney's journey was not just a tale of success, but also one of resilience and imagination. Born to a humble family, Disney's life was a testament to the power of dreams. He transformed the realm of animation, introducing us to a delightful mouse that would become a cultural icon. His struggles were many, from bankruptcy to criticism, but his imagination remained undeterred. Disney's achievements are monumental. The creation of Disneyland, a magical empire where dreams come alive stands as a testament to his vision. He was a pioneer, pushing the boundaries of what was possible in animation and entertainment. Yet his legacy extends beyond his life. It's in the laughter of children watching a Disney movie for the first time, in the awe-inspired faces of families as they step into Disneyland, and in the hearts of those who believe in the power of dreams. Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true, if we have the courage to pursue them. And indeed, he turned his dreams into a magical reality that continues to inspire and entertain us today.